Hey guys, I'm back with another Batmobile, and this time we're going to be taking a look at something a little different. This is the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Batmobile Cake Topper and Decoration Set. Believe it or not, everything that you see here is meant to go on top of something like a birthday cake. Now, I think it was after the second time that I saw Dawn of Justice, uh, we were in an ice cream shop, and they had all these promos for the movie. They even had, like, different flavors of ice cream for Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. I also noticed that they had this advertisement for a cake that you could order. Um, it was decorated with, with everything that you see here. Of course, the, the thing that really caught my eye was the Batmobile, right? So I asked the girl behind the counter if I could maybe get just the Batmobile without buying the entire cake, and she said it was something that they had to special order. I was a, a little disappointed at the time that I couldn't get one because it looked like a pretty good sized Batmobile, and it looked fairly accurate too. I left and I didn't really think anything about it until I got a message from one of my subscribers, Tony Garcia. Uh, Tony messaged me saying that he ordered this cool Batmobile cake topper off of Amazon. Now I, I don't know why, but it, it, it just didn't even occur to me to look for this Batmobile online. So, so thank you Tony for the recommendation on where to actually find it. I know you can also order it off of um, eBay, but the prices that I've seen on Amazon are much better. Everything that you see here cost me about $12 with shipping. So before we check out the Batmobile, let's take a closer look at the other decorations that you get. You get this uh, colorful stand-up print of Superman. It's in this plastic frame with a base that you can use to stand up on top of the cake. And Superman is posed like he's about to put the smack down on Batman, so I guess you can position it here in front of the Batmobile like they're attacking each other. You also get this cardboard backdrop of Gotham City. And it has these two points on the bottom so that you can push it into the cake and get it to stand up like a backdrop. I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the image is meant to be Gotham City. You, know, you can't really tell if it's Gotham or Metropolis in a Zack Snyder movie. It's always dark and gloomy in both cities. Both stand-ups are neat additions for decorating a cake, but of course the main decoration that I wanted was the Batmobile. So let's, uh, let's set these other pieces aside and take a closer look at the main attraction here. Now I know it's not gray like the way that we see it in the movie. It's all one piece of black plastic, but the sculpt and the dimensions for this model I think are spot on. It is missing some details like the lines on the hood and around the cabin there, and the gun turret is not a precise sculpt of the original design, but you know, given what it is, it's a, uh, a surprisingly accurate recreation of the Batmobile that we see in the movie. The material is not a high-grade plastic. It's almost like this thin toy plastic material, but the construction, I think, is still very solid. And I was surprised to discover that the wheels actually roll on this one. Now, I think the best thing to do to show you guys how accurate this cake decoration is, is to compare it with some of the other Batman v Superman Batmobiles that are out there. Uh, this cake decoration is about 15 centimeters or 6 inches from the front to the back bumper, so I guess it's almost like a, a 143rd scale, kind of like an Eagle Moss. When you look at it next to the Hot Wheels 164 scale version, you get a good sense for the size, but more importantly, you see how similar they are to one another. The smaller Hot Wheels, it also lacks some of the detail on the hood, so, so they really do look similar to one another. Again, it's crazy to me to think that this is just a cake decoration because the dimensions are so accurate. So let's move up to this bigger 150 scale version from Hot Wheels. Now, I know there's a bit more color variety with this light gray one, but there are some parts of the cake decoration, believe it or not, that are more accurate in the sculpt. I think it's particularly noticeable when you look at the back end with the exhaust and the brake drums. Now, I know it's not accurate in the sense that it's all black, right? It's just like the small 164 scale Hot Wheels. But I thought that this 150 scale from Hot Wheels was a little too light in terms of the gray color. It needed to be a little bit darker in my opinion. Now let's take a look at it next to the Jada Metals Diecast version. Based on some of your comments that I've received, uh, the Jada seems to be a favorite for many of us. I know it's one of my favorites. The Jada is about 8.5 inches from the front bumper to the back, uh, or about 9 inches from the gun turret to the point of the back tail fins, so it's a few inches bigger, 
but they're both so consistent in terms of the overall shape and design. Here is a shot of all three of them together. And I want to include the smallest version too. Uh, this 164 scale Hot Wheels is the one that actually came with the Mighty Minis figure. Uh, and some of you have messaged me asking if that Mighty Minis Batman figure was in scale with either the Jada or the 150 scale Hot Wheels. And I've left some pictures for you on my Instagram page, but um, the Jada is actually a little too big and the Hot Wheels is a little too small for that Batman figure. So check this out. Uh, here is the Mighty Minis figure next to the cake decoration. And I think the scale is pretty good. What do you guys think? It might be off by just a little bit, but compared to the other models, I think it's a pretty good match. I'm most likely going to display this Batmobile with a Mighty Minis Batman figure, especially since we might not be getting a Batmobile in this size from Eagle Moss. In closing, I think this is a really cool little pickup. Um, cake decorations have obviously come a long way. I had a Batman birthday cake when I was a kid, and I remember it had this flat sugar sculpt of the blue and gray Batman as a decoration on the top. And, you know, this Batmobile and the decoration set is a huge step up from that. As I pointed out, it's a pretty accurate model of the Batmobile from the movie. This would be great for kids of any age. It has rolling wheels and it has a, a pretty sturdy construction so kids can play with it and uh, big kids, like myself, can actually add it to their Batmobile collections. I definitely recommend picking it up if you can find one online. I've seen it in places like the ice cream shop that I've mentioned and I've also seen it in the bakery section at Target. But Again, those places generally have to special order it, so I think your best bet is to try and order one online if you want to get one. Again, I paid about $12 with shipping on Amazon. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, special thanks to Tony Garcia for letting me know where to find this Batmobile without actually buying the entire cake. So, we've been looking at the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Batmobile cake decoration set. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Mm.